Yeah, hi. So, have you ever wondered why things are called what they are? Well, for the most part, they're called what they're called because they do what they're called. For example, a hairbrush. It's a hairbrush. You brush your hair with it. Uh, a can opener. You open the can with the can opener. Um, mouthwash because, you know, it's called mouthwash because you wash your mouth with it. But have you ever wondered why the Federal Reserve is called the Federal Reserve when it's not even federal and they don't even reserve any money whatsoever? They just print it on the computer. They just make up numbers or print phony paper. And have you ever wondered why we even need it? And have you ever wondered why a hundred years ago we never had a Federal Reserve? Well, I have, and I've done research on it. And I realized different things, for example, facts that say when we first had our first World War, we didn't have a Federal Reserve, we didn't have taxes. And we went into a really short depression because we had to finance this first World War ourselves. But then these bankers came along and, you know, they called themselves the Federal Reserve and they made agreement with the government to do the money printing and to take us off a of gold standard so that way they would, you know, give us enough money to finance these wars and, you know, manipulate the, the money in a way that would, you know, uh, stop inflation or depressions or whatever, but it actually just made them longer and worse. And the reason is so, like I said, um, they would give us more money, more financing, um, you know, as long as we give them our gold and we go into debt for, you know, to them and pay, you know, interest on this money, uh, taxes, that is. So, in other words, they're giving us this paper that we are using and we are, in return, paying them taxes to use the money. So we're just sort of like renting the money, I guess. And before all this, we never had taxes. And our money was backed by gold. So now these bankers are trying to do this to other countries like Iran, who are now on the gold standard. They're trying to get us to go into war with them because they want Iran to go off their gold standard and use their money and go into debt with their money, just the same way they did to us. So, as you can see, it's important that we get away from the Federal Reserve, but even more important than that is that we have some kind of a world peace agreement, because if we don't have a world peace agreement, these feds, uh, private bankers, that is, they're just going to go around and do the same thing. You know, even if we were to go back on a gold center, they would go to another country and have them cause war again with us. So, again, we would then again would not be able to finance our own wars because we wouldn't have enough gold to do that so we would have to again go off the gold standard and use their money system and get taxed again so it's more important to have a world peace agreement um, to do this successfully and to end this um, illegal war um, for profit and uh, propaganda that's another thing the feds um, you know use uh, propaganda on the news to get people uh, upset with other people when it's not, you know, people against people, it's the bankers causing all this so that we'll think that it's them against, you know, the, na the people, you know, of a country that are against us when it's not. It's just the bankers trying to make it look that way. So they use the, the news media and propaganda for this. So they could pretty much, you know, stage a, a phony attack on some nation and say, you know, it's them, these other people, so that, you know, it'll cause fights, wars, because that's how they, they make their money, by getting people to go off their gold standard and using their money and being taxed higher. So, um, yeah, I was watching a video. Um, it was called In the Fed Protest. They just had a protest uh, a few days ago, pretty much all over the U.S., to get rid of the Fed. And, um, yeah, so I just wanted to um, let everyone know what's going on. That's why we have wars. And um, if we didn't have wars, then we would be able to build our wealth because we wouldn't have inflation. 
prices would always stay the same. Um, we would be able to build wealth because we wouldn't be taxed. We'd be able, you know, to keep our money that we work for, and we could own property, and you know, it wouldn't belong to them, the bankers. And, um, you know, um, the markets would um, stock market would be a real stock market. It would work on um, off of uh, real, you know, stuff that's real, not just um, you know taxing and, and stealing our money to, to bail out, you know, banks and big businesses um, that then um, have no reason, you know, to be successful or um, to, to give us something in return. They just, um, you know, rip us off, uh, lie, take our money, and um, don't give us really anything for it. You know, there, there can't be... Uh, a competitive market if businesses that fail just you know are able to keep succeeding even though they failed there's no incentive for them to do better or to um, be of any real value um, so yeah I, I would say just support your local small businesses and um, you know fuck big business so uh, yeah Okay, so take care.